Good morning. Play. It's the Daily Drawing Club. We're going to do a drawing challenge today for the next 30 minutes or so. And I'll probably do some stream of thought, whatever comes to my mind as I'm drawing it. Today's drawing challenge. Let's get right into it. It's Fan Art Friday. And I decided we're going to do some Fallout. If you're watching the TV show or the old video game, or if you're not a fan of it at all, well, then just do a quick reference. You can pick whichever character you'd like to pick, or you can roll the dice. So I've drawn or I've written out six characters here. You can roll a six sided dice. I'm going to do that right now live. So those are your choices. The Vault Overseer, Vault 4 Overseer, The Ghoul, which I'm hoping I roll a two, Lucy McLean, Maximus, Mr. Handy, and Vault Boy. So great. We'll talk a little bit about that. I'm going to move this over. Oh, look, there's a, uh, oh, look, there's a plug for my 8.30 a.m. stream today. I'll be drawing the uh, V Friends comics. There's Empathy Elephant there. Not sponsored, just that's just what I do. All right, let's just you know give it a give it a roll. I got a four. Oh, what is it? What is it? It's Maximus in like the night uniform. If you don't know what we're talking about, don't worry about it. Doesn't really matter. I'm actually gonna walk you through the whole process right now. So good morning, everyone in the chat. It's Friday. We made it. We made it. We made it to Friday. Um, Dan, that stream for V friends will be on all of their channels today. So check that out. It's not scheduled yet. I got to schedule it right after this morning guy, Steph paint, water, coffee. Good morning. That's a new name. I haven't seen. Thanks for catching the live getting up early with us wherever you are in the world. Okay. So, uh, what I'm going to do here is, you know, I'm just going to go live into just to show you how I might look at, cause some people are like, how do I find, so I'm just going to like Maximus night fallout. Okay. And I'm gonna hit image search and you know, there we go. Like that's, that's the armor there. That's, you know, pretty cool. So then I'm going to get in and find a, a good image, probably this one. And I'll just zoom in on the iPad here and just kind of, you know, it doesn't have to be exact. We're just going to whip this out within the next 30 minutes or so. I'm just going to tighten that up a little bit, save to my photos. And then, you know, what I'll usually do is I'll go into my reference i just got like a random reference folder there's the shoes from the other day um then i'll go in and um insert photos this is the visref program it's just something that i can kind of keep like a big visual reference like all of my reference from like different way back you know iron maiden stuff gremlin stuff it's all on here um it's just something that I use is ref. So I'm just going to keep that there because now I can put my procreate side by side like that. Give myself a little canvas resetting the stream here for those just joined. We did fallout. It's fan art Friday. So we're drawing some fallout. You can roll the dice or vault overseer, all those things. I rolled a four. So I'm drawing Maximus, the, the armor guy here in armor. So now you see, I can like zoom in on my reference while not having to move around on my canvas. So the magic of procreate is nice. Makes for, it's a good investment going digital. Um, if you can do it, you can afford it. So, <clears throat> all right. So this is a fun one. I'm just going to zoom way out and you can see like I'm going to zoom way out. I kind of know, you know, that it's like armor. I'm not going to worry about details too much. This is just a fan art Friday. So I'm going to do what I normally do here and I'm going to draw small. And I'm just going to try to get, I'm going to go fast and small. And I'm going to try and I don't want to draw the exact thing. I just want to use that as a reference. So I don't want to like draw the same pose. If that makes sense. So I'm going to just 
go with something that looks remember this is fan art friday so if you were drawing you know sketching up some fan art for the internet or for like a fan of fallout you'd want to draw something you know badass for them so that's what i'm thinking when i'm doing this like i'm just thinking like what would look like a badass piece for a fallout fan um you know you don't necessarily have to be a fan of something to draw it i think maybe you draw it a little bit better if you do but that's the challenge here um if you've never experienced it or watched the show i've done that so many times where a person will come to me and say like i want this character from this obscure show that no one watches um then i'll i'll just google it and i'll just try to give them the coolest looking you know piece of it that i can so we're just gonna go with a nice you know bus shot anybody watch the show uh Ali and I just finished it up this week. You know, see, I'm still, I'm not just drawing. Everybody's, people that are worried about me, they're like, DJ, you never stop drawing. And I'm like, no, trust me, I, I indulge in some fiction. I read and whatever. And uh, that's one of the things that we're, we watched kind of over a couple weeks of just putting on, and, you know, so there's my composition. I'm going to just blow that up as big as I can, just so I can get some cool details in there. Oh, there's just an explosion outside. That's different. I don't know if anyone heard that, but cool. Maybe the, maybe the world's ending right here on the live stream. Maybe the bombs are going off. Hopefully not. Cool. You know, so I'm not even going to like, I, I think the most important thing, if I'm looking at this quick is, you know, I want to kind of get that Darth Vader looking, you know, mask down. So I'm just going to kind of get in here and, and just draw that first new layer. And I'll just walk through. This is how these streams go. If you're new to it, or if you're watching in the replay, please say hello in the chat or in the comments. And uh, if you have a suggestion for future fan art fridays or mashup mondays or whatever we've been doing here on these streams go ahead and throw them in the comments i look at all the comments and that's how we did the wonka deal the other day that was fun um, these have been fun like i said yesterday even when i'm even when i wake up and you know you, i'm a human being you wake up and you're tired and you're like wait i gotta go do this again because i committed to doing this but this is fun to do so it's a good way to to kick off your day i know that you know nobody asked me to get up and draw all out today right so that's kind of a lesson i do for myself where i tell my art friends is you know i have a million things i could be doing right now early it's seven in the morning i could be chilling out i could be you know a workaholic which is what i used to be completely i'm still a workaholic but not believe me i was 10 times worse um, i might be like jumping right into work right now which probably isn't a bad idea because i got a lot to do at work but you might feel that uh, as far as like i gotta i gotta get moving every line has to count if you're doing art for a living or if you're doing anything really for a living and you're like every boom every second has to count towards that you know, bottom line of what you got to get done in your day. And I think it behooves us all to um, not be like that. Try to find some time, even like a half an hour, like we're doing here. Just set it and go. If you don't have a half an hour, honestly, 10 minutes of just sketching something, hands or life drawing you know that kind of stuff is going to be um it's going to make your day a little bit better trust me you're not going to feel as like burnout with your work or your life or whatever so just get that little bit of you know 
a little bit of feeling in there for yourself. Or maybe you don't, maybe there's a lot of like retired people too that are watching and stay at home moms, stay at home dads that are just kind of like, oof, you know, like that's a lot. That's a job in and of itself, raising kids and, you know, managing that stuff. I've been there too. Um, we all know that like artists don't make a whole lot of money or even if you're not, you know, if you're in a single income family, you don't have a lot of money to play with. Um, which is kind of, you know, that can be tough. That could be a struggle. So like drawing is not free, but once you have the basic supplies, you know, like kind of off to the races a little bit. Spend some time, build some skills, feel good. All for the cost of like a pencil and paper. So. Then somebody else said, like, do you actually do this every day? And uh, I'm like, well, I draw every day, you know. I'm not looking here. I'm not worried about the symbol yet or anything like that. I'm just going to get the basic shape, you know, because this is just practice for you know, the next 20 minutes or so. I might want to just, you know, take a look at his shoulder. Just because it has a very distinctive you know, shape to that part there. Right. I was really hoping to draw the ghoul today because like, man, that was such a good character. Cooper Howard. Walter Goggins is an amazing actor. Still haven't forgiven Walter Goggins or killing Lemon Lem on uh, the Shield show. I'm not forgiving you. Every time I see Walter Goggins, no matter what he's in, I'm like, this is a brilliant actor. But he killed Lem with a grenade. He said, I got some food for you. And then he like gave him a little bag of sandwiches and then it was a grenade. He put it in the car. I was like, oh. It's a very good actor because I really ended up despising that. Despising that character. I was like, you so bad. Some good writing. Hats off. Like, isn't it funny? Like, that's the cool thing about imagination and stories and things like that is that it's just so, um, it's so, uh, it can stir you up. You get very, like, fandoms get really upset. So imagine you're just the writer and you're like, none of this is real. And people are upset. Oh my gosh. It all came out of your, you know, imagination. I'm just kind of moving fast here. I'm not fast and loose. I might throw some inks on this. I kind of want that, you know, some kind of big, you know, gun thing here. Doesn't really matter what what the details are per se. I'm not worried about that. Sometimes you could just get away with like putting some doodads. We'll call it. This is quick and quick and dirty um, fan art Friday here. A little practice. Don't worry about perfection. You know, just make it kind of make it kind of kind of work. I might turn that around a little bit and go like, all right. Oh, I gotta get that drum thing on there. Just kind of a cool piece. We can work on some of the details and the inks, maybe. Where does that handle go? Like the if his hand is I haven't quite figured that out yet. If this is a gun and this is the handle, this is that. We're just gonna like tape it in. Not even too worried about it. Shoulder blades back here. I'm just gonna put some black there. People will know that it's, you know, part of his gun. However, it's leaning against them or whatever. They got those big 
these um i don't know what they're called um hold on a second help me out here this these robots are called uh or these robot suits are called uh they're knights but they're um uh what are they? they're called the brotherhood of steel just kind of like a weird military slash religious commentary i think from the writers of the show so they have squires and that's what i'm not going to give away too much but they they usually have squires uh, with them to kind of help clean their armor and stuff like that Maximus was a squire and became a knight. Yeah, power armor, and it's the Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah. My history with Fallout, I don't, you know, I watched the show and I played the video game in like the 90s. One of the original video games, which was like, I don't know, my memory of the video game was sort of like, You spend a whole lot of time like building these skills, like learning, building up your character behind the scenes, which you don't, you're not really moving things around. You're just kind of like spending these experience points, getting these skills. And then you go out and adventure in the wasteland. And like, if you had the skills that you needed, that kind of stuff, you might survive. I was going to draw a little bit of a little Maximus here. This is the actual guy, but good, good characters, good, um, it was weird. The first couple episodes, I gotta say of the show, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. Cause there's a vibe to it. And once I started watching it, I was like, oh, okay. Like. This is the vibe of the video game too, to be honest. Like it's very um tongue in cheek on the nose. Kind of semi political, but not it's just enough that like not taking any side or anything like that. It's just like but it also is like the paranoia of nuclear war and corporations and like all that stuff. It's like very huge. It's, it really deals with a lot of human problems, you know. Drop the Maximus face here. You see, everything we do in the streams, as far as like the fundamentals of like haircuts, faces, poses. It all comes together in something that's like a, a fan art piece, you know? Um, he's got like a light suit looking thing on, suspenders. I remember everyone in this that played the game when I was a teenager they wanted this armor like something that you found i think and it wasn't easy to find or something and it was flawed and stuff like that i remember like the flaws the you would get poisoned pretty easily with everything in the games so. cool it's 12 minutes left in my timer I'm going to just kind of give myself a little bit of uh, I wanted to kind of start working on some inks. And again, I'm not too worried about. You don't want to worry too much about the details. We're thinking I've been talking a lot in these streams about Alex Toth and simplifying things I can start to kind of fade out that little red in the back and then I'll fade this out a bit. Once I fade it out I'm kind of sliding my finger across to slide the right. 
think I might just throw just enough details of these like ears. There's a sword in there. And these are wings. Right. Just enough that when I'm in the inking stage, and this is again, this is pretty fast and you know, fast and loose here. Half an hour drawing something up randomly. We rolled. We rolled the dice. I rolled a four, so I'm drawing Maximus here. In case you're jumping in and not knowing what this is. Everyone's like <laughs> going and looking for reference. Oh. That's another thing I'll say, like don't spend too much time. You see how I just pulled that up and got right into, you know, some inking. So I'll be happy if I get this like this face done, you know. Sometimes you got to just kind of roll with it. If you're doing fan art, so pretend that you were doing fan art at like a comic con or something. Somebody rolls up on you and is like, "Hey, draw this character from this thing," and you're like, "I don't know." You just do a quick reference, and then you got to kind of just do a headshot or something like that um, with sharpies and markers and stuff. And that's that's kind of my approach here. Um, is the same. But all those fundamentals of drawing. So if you're out there watching this and you're like, man, I can't even, my lines suck or these are not perfect. Like I'm telling you right now, I'm not, I'm not a th thousand percent happy with what I'm doing right now, but for the sake of this stream, you know, I'm just trying to make something cool in the little bit of time that I have here for myself and for the, for you. And it also gives me an time to experiment with maybe getting a little faster, maybe not overthinking the art, you know, working on just shapes to fill in. I'm going to start to look like something, you know, that's, um, it's fun. And, um, I do get asked to do commissions a good bit. I don't have time to do it. Um, now so but I think if you can develop a style there's always fans out there of different things now my relationship with fan art is weird because I think I told I think I talked about this the last time was I never liked to do it because I always had this weird feeling about it like I'm um, drawing somebody else's characters and they, um, if I'm selling it or making money off of it I just felt bad for the the creators that made that that didn't get paid a lot or something in comic books it's very idealistic um, thing but I talked about the other day about how I give um, money to things like um, when we talk about the uh, you know what I should probably bring this up regularly when I talk about fan art I always kind of give to um, um, hero initiative there's my challenge coin for Hero Initiative. Hero Initiative gives money to, and they're not sponsoring this or anything like that. Hero Initiative give helps helps artists that are you know in a bad situation, like they might be losing their house or something like that. So there's a nice Kirby hand on there. Lend a hand, do it. Hero Initiative. I should probably link them up or something. When I talk about fan art, that's how I, that's how I kind of think about. You know, giving back to some of those 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 creators that fell on hard times, or they help people save their house, pay a big medical bill, because um, sometimes um, not a diss on the companies out there, but they don't really take care of their creators too much. It's very company corporate kind of stuff going on there. So that's how, kind of how I got to feeling better about doing fan art. Because I felt like, well, 
that plus I'm giving the people what they want. <laughs> you know, the fans of artwork or fandoms, you know, they're using all these other things as escape from their normal lives, storytelling to escape from something or just have a relaxing moment or you know, not escaping from a bad situation. Not necessarily I'm talking about like just a little bit of a treat sometimes for themselves. And, you know, if your artwork can help them in that way, that's kind of a cool, you know, I'm just going to show you how I do, I would do this pretty fast. Like I'm not going to worry about too much details. We'll worry about the key points that your eyes might be drawn to. I just did a tangent there. I don't want to do that. I don't want that to touch that. Right. And um, so I got like five minutes of inking here left. I definitely want to finish up this head. Of course, I had to pick, I had to roll the one of the most detailed characters on there. So let's just do it fast and fast and loose. You know. I like that dark shape of his shoulder pad there kind of really frames that in nice. Nope, did it again. My eye is drawn to that part. get away with a lot by just filling in those dark spots. Spotting the blacks is what they would say, or, you know, classic artists like Alex Raymond called it pools of black. And really all it was was that people go, Oh, it looks so great. Like it's so great. The composition, you're such, you're a master. And if you would ask them, they would be like, I just got to go fast. This is the way. Thanks for thinking I'm a genius, but <laughs> they're just like, I'm just filling in swaths of area there and, you know, coming back in and like doing things like that to like make it seem like, wow, it's so detailed. <laughs> it's not though. So, um, yeah, Steph said she tries to limit her time on the prompts because it helps helps you not overthink them. You know. For sure. And sometimes it's okay if you fall in and you're like inspired and you got time and you're like, you know what, I want to finish this out. You know? Well, that's his shoulder there, so. See, I'm working, you see how I'm drawing like the negative space? I'm not really drawing the figure. If that makes sense. So that's another thing to practice in this game that we're doing here. See how I didn't even worry about the lines really. I'm just kind of drawing the shadows. That's a fun trick to do. When you think about, you know, like I said, it almost felt like BS whenever I'd hear artists say like, well, you know, it is light and shadow and all that. But if it was like, I want to become a master, da, 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 da. but then when you in private and you're talking to them and really breaking it down and saying like, teach me. And they're like, well, I just had to go fast. So I ain't drawing all those lines. I ain't doing the shadowing. <laughs> I'm just going to draw the the shadow underneath the lip. And then when you zoom out, it's right. That's crazy, isn't it? That's the secret of comics and <laughs> comic strips. You don't have to get look at something like Frank Miller, you know, well, like Frank Miller kind of mastered that. But when you say mastered, it's like it's an illusion like masters of illusion almost same thing with like the belts might just draw the shadow on the bottom of the belts like that 
but not the top. And it still sticks with the fundamentals of lighting. You know, light hits something and it disappears if it's too bright. And on the shadow side, there's the shadows. So there you got like a different quick style going on. You learn how to do this quick with a Sharpie. You know, it's going to mesmerize people at a Comic-Con. They're going to take your little comic sketches home and you know, frame them up. I never did it quick like this. I always took about an hour and a half. Or sketch covers or something like that but, you know um what do we got one minute left all right it's not looking right it's not not too bad not too shabby you know keep working it a little bit here um and if you have any questions about art or tools or anything like that always feel free to comment um, I like to hear, I like to see your comments and, um, you know, I get bored sometimes or I get kind of like, oh, what, what am I doing this for? And then every time I see a comment, like on the YouTube channel, that's like, saw a comment yesterday. that's like, Hey man, I watched your video on the prints and it saved me so much money. And they're right down the street from me, you know? So he was also able to like find them and like, just pick up his prints. I was like, wow, that's great. But even not, he's, he doesn't have to pay for the shipping or anything like that. Um, where I see like people say like they haven't drawn in ages and now they're inspired to draw. And I'm like, all right, cool. That's why I'm doing it. I can't do much. There's not much I can do. I'm not good at a lot of things, but I'm good at, you know, semi good at drawing and um, inspiring people so if it's the one thing that I can give back <laughs> a little bit of my time to do that I'm, I'm down it feels good and that's something you could think about too you might hear people say that out in the world like find something that's going to benefit humanity and blah, 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 and you're like great <laughs> I can draw some pictures don't discount that because like I said, you know, what might be a piece of fan art for us is when you hear the stories of people, I bought this for my mom, the deeper story of my mom was a big fallout fan and she was struggling with this and your drawing made her look smile. And like, I heard so much of that. So artwork is really you as artists out there. Think about that. Like your art is magic. You might not have found the people yet, but gift it up, you know, like it's not about all about the money to draw someone a greeting card or, you know, it's going to become, don't worry about here. I am ranting now. I should be ending the stream, but I'm not going to sit here and talk for a minute because I'm, I'm on a roll now. Let's go. Um, don't discount your art. And for people that are worried, I'm having this conversation a lot and a lot more about AI. Don't worry about that because what I just said, the human side of being able to surprise somebody with a really hand drawn greeting card of some kind, or like a nice sketch piece, or we were talking about saw Steph doing those yearbook photos. Um, imagine that you just surprise somebody with like, Hey, I saw your funny, so not funny, you know, I saw your yearbook photo online. So I just wanted to, to capture that in the sketch card for you and just give it to them. And I bet you they will keep that forever and they'll think about you and your art, whatever, whether you're trying to turn it into a business or just be an awesome human being. That's the, remember that's the set it in the last week's email. That's the rubric for the Venn diagram. The top of it is just be awesome as artists. So cool, you know, that's not a bad looking little fan art for Friday, you know. I want to keep going. I want to keep I want to just flesh it all out. Throw some you know keep it going. But I got work to do. So this isn't this is looking kind of this is looking kind of bad over here. So I'm just gonna you know throw that throw some black in there. Let's just toss it in there and 
I don't know. You know, whatever. You just throw some lines in there and just fake it, right? That's the that's the truth. You're just faking some fake it till you make it with the, some of the art stuff, right? Big metal hand there, three finger. All right, pretty cool. Let's just draw some like wires and shit hanging back there and add some weird little details but we got a nice little human face there i'm pretty happy with this one cool guys all right probably be back next week check the check the emails um this is not an outro yet because we have the daily drawing club make sure you get in on that 5 a.m these drawing streams come out i want to check the discord real quick forgot to do that oh that's not the discord that's the discord no pressure here that's the steph's uh yearbook photo from yesterday <laughs> I told her in a, on Instagram, I'm like, you know, this would be a good service. I don't know how much you'd charge for that, but like, it's a cool, these, these bad yearbook photos from yesterday are awesome. Drawings are awesome. Such good likenesses, guys. Great. Love it. All right, we got a ghoul. Oh, man, Walter Goggins is so good. Steph got the ghoul. Steph wins the day. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a competition now. And then she also got the uh, the ball boy and she made an atc of that i'll do the reno <laughs> the vault <laughs> the vault uh, overseer guy is creepy and mr handy oh yeah mr handy's fun too and the voice of mr handy i forget his name but um, what we do in the shadows guy is awesome so this is our um discord there should be a link to it somewhere but that's the daily drawing club at 8 30 today i'll be doing the v friends drawing stream where i'll be drawing on the comic strips so if you're interested in watching me draw some more or talk about whatever we're working on uh v friends that's my uh that's my daily the, the, the daily comic strip we do with uh gary v and the rest of the crew at v friends okay that's it i'm gonna put my intro outro music on i'm gonna call this up just a little bit just a little bit and um we'll see you guys matt berry matt berry's a great oh uh, should i say jackie daytona
guys later. 